Hey, what's up guys? I'm back here with another episode of best Android apps for the Galaxy S6 Edge and the Edge Plus. Basically, all these apps will enhance the Edge screen functionality. Make sure to check out my previous episode, which I'll leave link in the description. And without any further ado, let's begin. The first one is Smart Switch. This app is specially designed for Samsung devices. It helps you to transfer data from any other phones or tablets to your Galaxy devices. And the good thing about this app is you can transfer your data from your iCloud, meaning now you can import your data from any of your iOS devices. You can either import data from the iCloud or from the iOS device itself, which requires an USB OTC cable. And then you can go ahead and continue. For Android devices, you can just download this app Open the app on both the devices, then connect. Very simple and easy. Next up is Hexlock. Basically, this is an app locker, but the cool thing about this app is, along with pin and pattern lock, you also get the fingerprint support. Since S6 Edge itself has an amazing fingerprint scanner, unlocking your apps with your fingerprint makes a lot of sense. Another good thing about this app is, you can set multiple profiles that will let you lock your apps according to the profiles you have selected. Say for example, while I'm at home, I want to lock my messaging app, facets, etc. Once you have selected the apps that you want to lock, you can just tap on the profile to activate it. Now, as you can see, I can use my fingerprint scanner to unlock my apps. Also, whenever you install a new application, you get a pop-up message to choose the profile for that application. So a great app locker application. Next is SwipePad. Basically, SwipePad is a gesture launcher which helps you to launch your favorite apps or shortcuts, like your WhatsApp conversation, favorite contacts, app drawer, or anything that you use the most. Just launch the SwipePad and choose any empty portal to add your mostly used apps or shortcuts. Since S6 Edge offers a lot of features that require swiping gesture, this app is very well suited. From the app, you can choose the trigger area that is from where you want to launch the swipe pad. Then you can customize the look and feel of the swipe pad like themes, icon packs, background transparency and many more. Swipe pad even supports additional add-ons to increase its functionality, but you need to get the premium version of it. So a great app for multitasking as you can launch your apps quickly with just a single swipe. Next is Quick Launch and Music Feed. I have shown these apps in the first episode. These apps are not available in the Play Store. You will need to download the APK and install it. I will leave the download links in the description. Quick Launch will help you to launch different applications as well as control your music player from your lock screen. As in you don't have to unlock the device, just swipe the edge screen and then you can have access to this Quick Launch. So check out my first episode for more info. The next one is Edge Color Notification. This app helps to customize the edge lighting for different notifications. You can simply select the application for which you want to enable the edge lighting so that whenever you get the notification from that app, you will be notified. From the slider menu, you can customize the edge lighting, that is you can customize its width, color, effect and the way it appears. So just go ahead, try this app if you want to customize the edge lighting. Lastly, I will talk about few wallpaper apps that I use the most. Uh, here I will quickly talk about few wallpaper applications. The first one is called Nautilus. You get wallpapers based on different categories. And all the wallpapers are high quality and very unique. Then we have Murum. You get wallpapers inspired from the material design. Again, you get multiple categories here and a very easy to use user interface. Next is the very popular Facets. Recently it was updated with new wallpapers, so make sure you go ahead and check these wallpaper applications and leave your comments down below. So yes, that's all for this video guys. I hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for more videos and I will catch you guys in the next one.